Welcome to the Cyber Sky. Let's learn something. I came across this Google tool that's really useful and it's sort of an alternative to video recording and video conferencing that we've been doing with Zoom. Now I love Zoom and I'm going to do um, a video on Zoom as well. It's a great tool. I've used it for a couple of years. But Google now has a competitive product called Meet. I feel like it's a lot simpler than Zoom and even though it doesn't have as many tools as Zoom, its simplicity might make it preferable to some of you. The more options you have, the more you can choose what you feel works best for you. So this is the website. You can go to it yourself, meet.google.com. You don't have to create an account because you already have an account. As you see, I'm logged in. Let's just try to join or start a meeting today. So I'm going to click join or start a meeting. It says enter the code or nickname. Now if someone created a meeting and sent you the code, you enter it here. If you are creating your own meeting, um, you enter a name or leave it blank. I'm going to enter a name, ANL test meeting. Okay. Oh, I don't like the and sign. Okay. And uh, so we're joining and you're going to see my studio at home. Yep. Join the meeting. You can add people. You can copy the info, send it in an email. And there's a dial in number just like uh, other software has. Okay. All right. And I can choose from my Google contacts. So if you've already emailed all of your students before, maybe you sent a group email. And they would actually all appear here and you can select them. Now I'm going to actually record and show you how to record but first let's talk about the camera. If you turn your camera off you will get the photo that you use for your Google account. Let's put it back on. You can mute your mic right here. And uh, you can turn on captions. Now captions is very useful however you should know that it will not record the captions so even if I record the meeting when you play back the meeting later you won't see the captions I'm going to turn it off for now it's to record uh, you would go to the three dots and you'll see it up here now if people don't have this is a premium feature if you don't have recorded you're not going to see it there our organization has G Suite which enables us to use our domain name with Gmail for all the staff and students and to use Google Classroom. So this is a premium feature of G Suite. We didn't previously have it, but due to our current situation, um, Google has given everyone with G Suite recording so that we can do the distance learning. So check with your organization. If you have Google Classroom, you probably now have record meeting. However, I had to go into the admin settings and turn it on for the staff. But we're going to press record. You're asked for consent. So yes, I give myself consent to record the meeting. There we go. And that little chime shows us that we are recording. Now let's take a look at some more features. Use phone for audio. Let's say you're having difficulty with your, your laptop settings or your home computer, whatever you're using. It will call your phone and now your phone is your microphone device and you can use that for your audio It'll be nice and clear. I'm going to do a full comparison between Zoom and Google Meet in another video. But one thing that's much better in Google Meet is the full screen controls. Um, all you have to do in Google is double click the screen and it goes out of full screen, double click it again, tap tap and you're back in full screen. So that's a really great feature. Present now allow you to share your screen and one thing I like about the screen share is you can share your entire screen now they see your whole desktop or just choose a window to share you can have an app open like I have Final Cut Pro right now and you can just choose to only share that screen so I'm going to demonstrate that Final Cut of course watching this video you can still see my desktop but in the meeting you can't if you want to stop share the buttons right here at the bottom so now I'm sharing my screen but it, it brought this document to the front this is a a little lesson sheet I had for my students and I can just click stop sharing right there I'm going to stop this meeting by clicking leave call leave the meeting and if I was recording it will take a few minutes to process and then the recording of the meeting will appear in the Google Drive account of the person who created the meeting so here's one I created on zoom and then I had to 
download it to my computer and then upload it. And here's one that I did using Google Meets. And now it's there and I can play it back. And you should be seeing my face unless I turn my camera off. And then you will see the photo I use in my Gmail account. And then I will turn it back on. And it's already in Google Drive. So I can generate a link, share, get shareable link, or add someone here and send it to them just like a Google Doc. You know, this is the same as Google Docs. It's one step. You know, you record it, boom, it's in your Google Drive. You go to Google Classroom. I'm going to test this out right now while we're on. And you create a new assignment. Let's create a pretend assignment in this pretend class. Okay, classwork, create. And you want to add a video to your assignment. Google Drive. Yep, there it is. So now I could just select this, add it. And that video that we just created is right there in your assignment that you're creating. Um, I'll be doing another video more on the intricacies of adding things to Google Classroom at a future time. So let me know what you think about all that. Um, do you think this is something that's worthwhile to use instead of or in addition to Zoom conferencing? Hope that was helpful. Be talking with all of you soon. Have a great day.